Hi guys, welcome back to Seeking Happy. I am Maudie and today we're going to be doing another 90s nostalgia toy haul. So it's not actually a current haul. We're going into my collection of all my 90s stuff that I've accumulated. Um, kind of a collection of trash and treasures. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take a look at it together if you are from the 90s slash 2000s, if that's your era. Maybe some of this stuff will bring back nostalgic feels for you. So I'm going to be blindly grabbing into my um, collection of things that I've kind of collected along the way and recovered from old childhood memories and share them with you. And we'll see if you have the same nostalgic 90s tingles that I get. <laughs> okay, this first one's a big one. And this is what I mean when I say like trash or treasures. If you didn't see the first episode, go back and check that one out for sure. But we had a lot of like pretty pristine stuff in that one, but sometimes we're not as lucky. So this is a grab bag I did um, from a garage sale of old, um, and I'll just kind of set them out and then I'll show you closer, but old Dalmatian toys um, from the 90s. Super, super vintage and this is the way that they sold them in bags and I remember it was so it was like an accumulation so this is a, not even from the same thing um I had to buy two or three bags to get the specific toys that I wanted that I remembered from my childhood so these are not but I'll tell you when we hit the one that I was trying to get and it looks like it might be the last one actually I didn't even well maybe I did realize but now that I'm pulling this out, this is one from my childhood. Man, that face. So this bag I haven't gone through and been able to clean yet. Oh, I don't like it. But usually this is kind of how I get the toys. Clearly I didn't go through this bag. And then um, I clean them all with alcohol and everything and try to get them the best that I can. Sometimes they have like marker on them. Most of the time it's just like age, dirt, and stuff like that. If you do any toy collecting and you have like any tips on what I should use, if I shouldn't use alcohol or anything like that, let me know because I definitely have toys that, you know, I don't want to damage as I'm cleaning. Um, but you know, it must be done because these are old relics. Okay, so this is actually the toy <laughs> that I was trying to get. So it is from the 101 Dalmatians. Most of the toys my family um, had was from like uh, kids meals, um, like McDonald's toys and Burger King toys, mostly McDonald's meals. I feel like um, my mom, I think, was a pretty big collector of those types of toys and... Um, like Disney toys especially. So this was one that we had as a kid. Like it's just one I remember playing with and I'm pretty sure we had like four or five of them or something because um, we had a huge family. Um, I'm from a really big family and we would do like handing down the toys and everything. So a lot of, or like when they would get Every, if they'd get everybody a kid's meal, we had like a lot of the same toys. So we would just use them as, you know, I mean, you, you're supposed to have 101 Dalmatians. So it's not bad to have a whole lot of them. I'm like hoping I don't hurt my little pink surface here. But we definitely did have this one. I always remembered like wondering what this puppy was in. I guess it's like a pocket of her coat or is it a purse? Uh, she's hideous. She's like, she's so dirty that she looks like she needs like a facelift or something. Okay, so these again are not the ones that um, I grew up with, but obviously they're like same era and everything. And they're really cute actually. I really like like this little like cute chubby build. I really love the art style of these toys. So... I'm trying to show you because maybe these are the toys that you grew up with. And if that's the case, for sure, let me know. I love hearing from you guys and just <laughs> hearing what you think of my videos. And if you relate, um, see, I don't know what this one is. Oh, wait, is this a Del Yeah, this is a Dalmatian. <laughs> I totally remember um, when I got them. I found that out. It's so cute because I love holiday stuff. It's cute. I definitely will for sure clean these. That's that's another good part of actually getting back to this. And then just this random guy. I don't know what this is from. Do you? 
It does say Disney. What is this from? If you know, tell me in the comments. Faux showsies. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull something else next. Oh, I, for I forgot I like to leave them out so you can look at them. I'm just going to take out the one that I love. <laughs> and we'll... Oh, I think he can sit. Yeah, let's set him down right here. <laughs> and let's go ahead and grab something else. I hope we'll get a new thing or a nicer condition thing next because... I don't like that. Okay, so this is the next guy. I did not have this as a kid, but I am always on an endless journey to try to get like a bunch of Toy Story toys because it did come out when I was um when I was a kid, when I was pretty young. I was a little bit of the older group, but you know, I mean, <laughs> it's Disney. And uh it was just the best. It was like our family was huge fans of Toy Story and um, it used to be playing in my house like several several times a day and we had tons of toys but a lot of the toys like I said were like McDonald's toys so they were like this size but then we did have like the um, Woody and Buzz the big ones um, with the drawstring and everything and uh, it was kind of annoying that they weren't the same scale because like Woody and Buzz was like this size and then Rex was like this size <laughs> But, um, you know, we made do as a kid. Speaking of toys I don't have, <laughs> um, one of the toys that I remember a lot from that series, from the McDonald's series, was Bo Peep. She was a spinning top. And that is one that I remember a lot, but I haven't uh, seen as an adult. So this has like a real spring in it, and I never saw this toy as a kid. But when I saw it in a thrift store as an adult, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the correct scale for Slinky. So even though it's like, I, like I'm surprised that, that a kid's toy had like real metal in it, but um, I thought it was super cool. So I had to get it. And I guess um, you can pull him by the little leash. <laughs> okay, so let's put him over here and let's see what else we get today. He doesn't want to stay. He'll have to lay down. Okay, and again, I'm drawing blindly, so we just don't know what we're getting. Ah, okay, so we've got Reptar from um, the Rugrats. And I believe this was a fast food toy. Let's see if we can read it here. Can you? I'm trying to show you and me at the same time. Burger King! So it's Burger King 19... I had to get really close to see. I think it's 19.99, I believe. That sounds right. And um, so this was, oh yeah, look, there's our little Whopper right there. <laughs> and this was one of the toys that we had, faux show. And um, I don't think I can do it. I don't know if it works, but it has little wheels on the bottom. And it's one of those ones, see this one? I used to have a Barbie that did this too in her rollerblades. Um, it's like a, oh my gosh, it's like a lighter. Because when you pull it, I was really hoping it's going to work. It doesn't look like, but it's supposed to do a little light in here. And it has like a little crackle feature. It's, okay, I was being hopeful. Am I doing it the wrong direction? Maybe? No, I don't think so. So it doesn't work, but normally it like crackles and you can see this is like translucent. So you see the little sparks in his mouth, which is so cool. Again, kind of like, do they make toys like that? Because what is that? Is that dangerous? <laughs> but it's super cool. I just love, I think that is like really, really awesome. Um, Just adorable. Okay, so let's do one more item. And by the way, I am totally rummaging, but I just kind of pause so you don't have to like hear me scooping through trying to grab something. So um, this is the next item I pulled. This is not an item I had when I was a kid, but we used to have all these big like souvenir drinking cups um, <laughs> from SeaWorld was the ones that I remember the most as a kid. I guess that doesn't sound funny to you, but it, for me and my family, it would be funny because it was like an always like a thing. Like we'd be like, get out the SeaWorld cups. And they were like big, giant cups to drink from. Um, but this one, I loved it because it's an old little mermaid one, which is like my favorite. 
Um, and it actually doesn't have Ariel on it, <laughs> but it is from a resort, right? Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, which I thought was super, super cool. And it's, it's got an awesome picture of Sebastian and Flounder. And I love Flounder. I feel like he's not pictured on a lot of stuff. And again, this is like in really good um, shape and everything. So it has the top, very cool pink neon vintagey colors. If I wanted, I feel like I could like clean this up and use it, but I don't feel super comfortable with that, but I just like having it. So it's like not exactly what I had as a kid, but just kind of reminiscent of it, right? So you get that. If you're a collector, sometimes you just kind of got to have a placeholder. And then when you run into the real thing, then you're like, there it is. Okay, so <laughs> this is our little haul for today. Again, let me know in the comments. Like, like my video. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying the series. If you remember some of this stuff. Or if you had some of this stuff. Or if you're looking for some of this stuff. I don't have my tablet, but normally I'll end the video um, showing you on my 90s um, Pinterest page, something that I'm still searching for. But so today we don't have that, but, um, we're going to definitely be continuing the series, I think. So, uh, subscribe so you can still see them and feel free to check out my other 90s videos that I have done in the past. Okay. So that's everything. Um, hope you had fun. Hope you have a good day. Bye.